Hi guys, so today I am dedicating this video to test out the Jello Jello Peel Off Base Coat. I have started hearing about this product so much lately, and for a long time I just thought it was a regular peel off base coat, but that's not the case. This base coat is supposed to last like a normal base coat unless you want to take it off with their one kill remover, which looks like regular oil, but I'm pretty sure it's not just oil. If there's one thing that I think most of us don't like about doing our nails is having to take them off. It's a tedious process. It can take a really long time. Filing down your nails all the time or soaking them off isn't the most fun thing to do, especially for someone like me who is taking off their sets all the time to film videos and stuff like that. I have used regular peel off base coats on and off in the past little while, but I don't regularly use it all the time because I feel like I'm in a weird spot where I want my nails to last about a week, but with a peel off base coat, they are usually off that night or the next day without me even trying. So the only way that I can really have them last the week is to just prep normally and then I have to fully remove them. So if this product works, it would be like the best thing ever to be able to use it as a base coat and then wear the nails for however long I want most likely about a week. And then when it's time to take them off, I can just use this oil and have them be off in like under five minutes with minimal damage. It was pretty hard to find this product in the US or at least fast shipping to the US because I'm an impatient person. When I want it, I want it. I will leave a couple sites that I found that you can buy it in the US. Other than that, you can buy it on eBay, but it's probably gonna take a little while because this is a Korean nail brand and that's where I've mainly seen it shipped from. I really want to give this base coat like a real good test. So I'm going to test four different types of nails on top of the base coat just to see it might last better on, you know, like gel extensions than it does on acrylic. I just want to see that. And then I plan on wearing the nails for however long they let me, unless we get to like a month or something, but that would be ridiculous. So we're gonna have a lot of work to do today. So let's dive straight into it. Let's open this up. I have not even looked at it. Here is everything, the base coat, the gel remover, and then some wooden cuticle sticks to, you know, like scrape off the gel. I'm honestly a little surprised at how good quality this stuff already feels. Like this is glass. It's not a plastic bottle. Super nice. So we're gonna put the gel remover and the wooden sticks to the side cause today all we will be using is the base coat. So today, surprisingly, my nails are still crusty, but not dusty. I feel like they're in better shape than normal. So this is the perfect time to try this. So let's get started. I'm going to prep my nails as normal. I don't do too much etching on the natural nail anymore just because I do remove my sets quite often, but just enough so that it sticks. And then I'm going to clean off any dust and oil with some swipe. So the first method I'm going to try today are essentially just press on nails with nail glue. Thought I would show you guys this stuff is thick but not crazy thick. So I'm just going to start off and put our base coat on, making sure to get any crevice that I can. And I feel like that's probably a thick enough layer as well. So now I'm going to cure. Got a little bit of a heat spike, that's okay. And I'm actually going to use the nail glue on my pinky as well. I'm gonna do four different methods today, but this is definitely the easiest one. So we'll do two of this one. I really like the way that this stuff goes on. It doesn't really spread, so I'm not getting a bunch of flooding, but it's not too thin, it's not too thick. So I'll just cure that one really quick as well. For my tips, I'm going to use these ones from McCart. They fit my nail beds pretty good, pretty flush on them. I don't have too much space to fill in. In the past, I have had issues with glue sticking to a peel off base coat or any base coat in general. So I am going to prep these so we can hopefully have these last as long as the base coat will let us. So I'm just using some Gel X Prep. Even though these tips are plastic, it still works. So yeah, I don't know if the nail glue is going to want to stick to the base coat, but we're gonna try without wiping it first. It is sticky for sure, but I wanna try without wiping it because I don't know if like wiping it changes anything in terms of like how long it'll last. All right, so hopefully that should be enough nail glue. I don't know though, I'm not very good at judging how much nail glue I need. I'm gonna give it kind of a sec to get some air. I found that that helps it dry just a little bit quicker. Okay, let's try and see. 
Oh, yep, a little bit much, that's okay. All right, I am not going to move for a while. I'm going to really just try to let this all merge together. Hopefully it's straight, is it straight? Kind of, we're good. It's good, but I'm gonna just keep pushing it down. I feel like we have some air bubbles or something going on over there, I'm not sure exactly. All right, it seems to be sticking on. I'm not gonna push it too hard right now while it, you know, like fully cures, but looks like that's going to work. Again, not sure what's happening over there, but it's fine. All right, I know this nail has a little bit more to fill in. All right, let's see if we can do this without a mess. Eh, kinda. Maybe is it straight? It's so hard to tell on camera if it's gonna be straight or not. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So next we're going to try acrylic with a tip. So we do know that the glue will stick to it. If you're measuring out tips, but you don't have your base coat on yet, like in this situation, go for something a little bit bigger than you normally would because once you add that little bit of height to it, it'll work out. Once again, I'm going to clean off this nail and add the base coat and cure. And then let's try the tip. I'm gonna chop a little bit of that off. All on now. For my acrylic today, I am throwing it back to last year's Secret Nail Affair or Winter or Christmas collection. This was my favorite acrylic. So pretty, it's just like pink, but sparkly. For monomer, I'm going to use my Nail Career Education odorless monomer because I'm just doing one nail so I don't want to smell up my house for it. This may slightly discolor my acrylic, but that's okay. We will roll with it. I'm going to really quickly just chop off a little bit of this length so it's about where the others are. They're definitely all not going to be the exact same length and shape, but I just wanted it, you know, a little similar. I don't know if it's just me, but if you work with odorless monomer, tell me how much you use because I feel like I end up using way more than you're supposed to, but I also don't feel like I'm like wasting it by rubbing it off or anything. I just feel like it just kind of like all gets absorbed into the brush. And then like, you know, into the acrylic, I just, I don't know. I feel like I just use so much of it when I know you're only supposed to use a couple drops. Acrylic all done. I'm going to file everything at the same time at the end. So next, let's actually move on to poly gel. And once again, I'm gonna do the base coat. For my poly gel, I'm going to use my Evie Patty Gel in So Cute. And I'm actually going to use something I haven't used in quite some time, a dual form. I honestly could not tell you the last time I used a dual form. It's been a while. I really, really hope this stuff works like we want it to because I love poly gel, but you know if you've ever used poly gel that it can be a pain to get off since it doesn't soak off. And when I'm having to remove a set pretty often, you know, to make videos, that can end up adding a lot of time to my prep for the video and next set every week. Okay, I feel like my dual form looks pretty perfect. I did leave these edges since I know that we will be filing into a coffin shape. It's been so long since I've used this. Okay, I'm just gonna set this down. Hope it fits well. Okay, I have it covering all the nail. I'm gonna cure it and it goes. Okay, let's see. <gasps> Ooh, looks nice. Like I said, I'll file everything at the same time. It's that little ridge on the bottom will be easily filed away. Last but not least, we are going to do full cover tips. Different from press on nails, these ones are going to be adhered with gel and this is going to be a gel tip. It does look pretty much identical to this one, but this one's gel and this one's plastic. Prep for this tip. And then I'm going to be using some Apray Extend Gel. Super happy with that application. Sometimes with peel off base coats, which is why I don't always use them, even though I change sets so frequently, sometimes they tend to peel off while I'm working on the nail, especially during filing. And then I feel like my nails never come out as good because I'm worried about them popping off while I'm working on them. The nails feel pretty strong though. They definitely don't feel like I have a peel off base coat on. Now I'm going to file the poly gel nail and the acrylic nail, and then of course clean up the others. So 
So I feel like in my last video, I kind of just winged it and I'm gonna try to do that again. So today I'm going to do some My Melody and Karomi kind of 90s nails. I do have some airbrush inks out as I'm going to attempt to use my airbrush today. I feel like that would really give it the nice 90s vibe, but we'll see if we can get that to work well. And then I felt like it would be cool to have some silver accents. So I have these silver glitter stickers, which I thought originally might be airbrush stickers just because they're like kind of thick and I might use them as that, but I also think they're actual stickers. And then I have my molten silver gel. So a black, pink, 90s silver vibe today. I'm going to start off with just painting the clear ones black. I do love a classic just like, you know, nice, shiny, smooth black nail. My airbrush is from Ellen Nailed It. I haven't used this in a while. I think the last time I used this was when we did those like 3D printed nails. So it's been a bit. I'm gonna just like hook it all up. We'll start with the lighter colors first. So I'm gonna use this white. Added some liquid. Okay, actually I just realized I need to start with the pink. And I don't really remember the ratios, but hopefully this is good. I feel like last time I really started to get the hang of it towards the end. I don't really want to do that today. Put this on so I don't spill anything. Then I'm going to just try to test it really quick and like change up the settings. Cause I remember last time, like depending on how much you like tighten stuff and settings and stuff, it changed. Okay. So I think it actually works just fine. I got plenty of color out, I think. So let's give it a try. A while ago, I tried to do these like Aurora kind of nails where the goal was to do a kind of like gradient circle in the middle-ish. So I'm gonna try that again. We'll see. It definitely works. It's not exactly what I was wanting because I kind of got a little carried away. Ooh, just wipe it off, I think. Yep, perfect. And we'll try again. I think I should have gone with a little bit of a darker color to be honest, but that's okay. I probably won't need the white then. I feel like it was good and then I tested my luck a little bit and it splattered and then I kind of got mad and just, you know. I think I'm gonna leave that one. I think it actually looks nice. It's not the best, but something. On this one, let's try doing one of the stencils. So I'm just gonna put it kind of like there and there, again, I'm pretty sure these are actual stickers, but they're pretty thick, so I think they'll be easy to get on and off. Oh no, I scratched it. Oh no. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is mostly dry. I'm gonna see if I can get these off. I feel like this one was already lifting a little bit. All right, that one definitely had lifted a little. That one's better. Okay, not bad. Not bad for first try. Any little edges and stuff super easily cleaned up. I think I'm gonna try to tackle like a little bit of an ombre on this one. Okay, so that's all of my airbrushing with the pink. Now I had the black out because I was gonna do some on these. I think I might try and do that. I don't know how that's gonna turn out or if it'll even look good, but I figure it's worth a try since I already have the airbrush out. I'm gonna have to clean it anyway. And this is super easy to wipe off if you don't like it. This ink definitely does take a minute to dry, but it's not too long. So I'm going to top coat this. And okay, we're good. I was a little worried it would maybe streak for some reason. I'm using a matte top coat right now because I might do some hand-drawn nail art. I'm not 100% sure I might do some accents, but just in case I probably will end up leaving them shiny. But right now I just want to, you know, just make sure all of this is all sealed up nice. I know I've seen some people use gel polish in their airbrush and that's most of the tutorials that I saw whenever I was Googling how to use my airbrush, but I prefer to use these inks for sure because then I don't have to worry about getting all of that gel polish all over my actual skin. These little inks and stuff just easily wash off with water. I do have my liquid in there. I'm gonna add the black, mix it up and let's try. <gasps> Whoa, oh, that really works. So I'm gonna put some more of these hearts. So I have concluded I really like airbrushing. And once you can get the hang of it and the liquid to ink ratio and you know, know what each part does, it's really easy to use. I really like this ombre. It would have been perfect for Halloween to be honest. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one like all the way. I'm gonna pull these stickers off once they're done and we'll see if it looks good. So now I'm kind of touching up anything with the black that didn't look good on the other nails that I put the pink over because there was a couple little places that I, you know, maybe scratched or whatever. I'm really hoping all of this cleans up out of my cuticles. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. That looks okay. Everything's getting a top coat. I'm trying not to drag the brush too hard across. Everything is dry, but I don't really want to chance it. And then into Cure. And now I'm gonna go wash my hands. It wasn't too bad to get off. It did come off, but I did have to scrub a little bit. And there's still a couple small little pieces here and there still on my skin. But overall, pretty happy with how easily that came off and how it looks. It's not the most cohesive set ever, but I feel like it's still fun. So I wanna do some accents with our molten gel, practically mirror gel. I think I'm going to try to do flames on this one, but I love this stuff, it's so shiny. Might need to go look up um, a reference for this. For some reason, flames are just one of those things I can't really picture in my head very well. I feel like I'm like getting out of breath because I'm holding my breath doing this. Those ones at the top might have been a little overkill, but I still think it looks cool and I think I'm gonna leave it. I think for the hearts, I might just, you know, outline some that maybe aren't, you know, as sharp like that one. Although I'm really not sure where I'm going to put my charms on. It's a little thick around it, but I kind of like it. Cleaning this stuff up sucks though, because I think this is like a bunch of micro, micro, micro pigment, kind of like all together. And when you try to clean it up with alcohol, it leaves behind like a bunch of just little itty bitty, tiny, teeny sparkles. I am using my opposite hand today. So this is a lot of trial and error right now. So I'm just going to finish up and do a couple really simple accents with this gel, just so it's all cohesive. I want to put both a chromy and in my Melody charm on here. So I'm going to use my McCart Rhinestone Gel. This stuff is crazy thick and it lasts so good. So I know that everything will hang on. I feel like as a real test, I have to put some sort of charm. It could just be me, but I end up getting my charms caught on everything. I try to be careful, but I do a lot of random stuff and I catch my nails sometimes. Put. My melody there, does that match? I was really going for a My Melody and Chromi set, but I think it's turned into mostly a Chromi set. I'm gonna put another Chromi on my thumb. So I feel like it'll be a really good test of the peel off base coat to see if it will come off with like a good snag. I'm not gonna try to snag it, of course, but you know, it happens. I'm gonna cure these now. And then I'm gonna finally just top coat. I'm gonna use a shiny top coat. I do feel like I have pretty high hopes for this base coat. I've heard so many good things about it. So I will be continuously updating you guys how it goes pretty much for as long as they stay on. The only nail I'm kind of worried about is this one because I think when I was filing the poly gel, I might have filed in the side too much right there and broken the seal. So if that one comes off easily, that's probably my fault, but I feel like everything else, I got a really good seal and it is on there. I'm sure you guys have seen the mess that's on my other hand. I accidentally broke one while I was cleaning the wheels on my car. And so I just basically snapped off all of the tips and have been kind of just like trying to pick them off. I'm assuming that these nails will last at least a little while and I have to film, so I'll be using this hand. So I will most likely come back with a update on how quick we can kind of get the Jello Jello off because it's meant to basically come off anytime with the oil. So while I do wanna test how well it stays longevity wise, I also wanna test how well we can get them off quickly. So we will also be finding that out as well. But here is the finished set of nails anyway. And I will be back with some updates momentarily. Okay, I already have bad news. I was giving my dogs baths and this one came off. This was the one I said I felt like could come off because it was probably my fault because I filed into the seal, but dang. The rest of them seem okay, but 
that sucks i'll have to probably glue this one back on all right guys so i was filming and i have decided to scrap these two nails whatever these nails are is not important but what is important is that i did use the jello jello peel off base coat on these and i just put these nails on so let's see how well this comes off almost immediately after this is pretty stuck on there this one too this one's a lot more solid because this one's a lot thicker this nail wasn't done yet so that's why it's so flimsy so I'll start with this one I'm going to sort of like pick at the edges a bit although it's not really wanting to lift I do already have a little bit of oil on my hands because there's baby oil in this aquarium nail but let me see if I can find a little opening okay I think right here we might have a little bit and I'm gonna grab the one kill gel remover now this bottle is really nice quality too it's like glass so I'm just gonna put a drop around both fingers and I'm gonna let it sit for a minute before I start poking at them a little bit more. So now I'm gonna... Oh. Ah! Okay, so that came off fairly easy. Let's try this one now. I feel like you have to find like a little weak spot for it. I need a little bit more there. And voila, there we are. So I'm fairly happy with how easy that was to get off. After this nail popped off yesterday, this is my second full day having these on. So technically it would be like two and a half. I just glued this one back on with nail glue and they are all stuck on still pretty well. So I'm super happy those nails came off today and I will check back soon with an update on this hand. Okay, so bad news. Um, it's the end of day two, so I had just filmed that little clip of me taking off my scrapped nails from earlier, and I always change after I do my nails so I don't like sit with the dust on me, and I caught my thumbnail on my shorts while I was changing, and not only did the nail come off, but so did kind of my charm. Womp. And honestly, I kind of feel like this one isn't really hold- I feel like they're just like not 100% sturdy. The only one that's like couldn't pull off if I wanted to is the one that I think we did a full cover tip on. Everything else kind of feels like a little flimsy, but I don't really want to take these off really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a new coat of the Jello Jello on and just glue them back on because I still want to wear them. I hate not having nails on, so like having no nails on this like but it should still work at least for another couple days i don't know i guess this one will be a good test because this one is stuck on there like that one's not coming off which i guess is probably what it was more meant for is like gel and full cover tips so i'm gonna just pop these on again really quick i'm not going to like refile my nail but i'm just going to make sure i like dehydrate really good and then whenever i re-pop on a nail like this i will just file the inside a little bit the peel off base coat's gonna be stuck on there, the glue's gonna be stuck on there. And if you don't like file the inside, you're gonna end up kind of looking like your nails like hovering over your real nail because there's gonna be so much product in between. I also filed off the gel from the Karomi charm because I don't feel like reapplying all that tonight. More of the base coat. I feel like I cannot see without all my lights in here though. The cure. With glue, I think the Jello Jello sticks a lot better without that sticky layer on put a little bit on here and pop it back on i feel like i don't even know what to say because i feel like most of them have popped off by now but now that they are like re-glued they feel pretty secure so i guess we'll just have to see my goal was to keep these on for like at least a week so maybe now that they're like glued a second time with zero filing around the edges or something like that maybe now they'll stay on better but i don't know i guess i'll update you guys on that okay so bad news i had two nails pop off i have a different plan because i genuinely believe that when people say it lasts two weeks for them it lasts two weeks so i went on tiktok and i did like a real deep dive and it seems like i need to do like really thorough prep if i want them to last more than like a day I was kind of under the impression that it would have better adhesion with just like the 
little bit of roughing up and the dehydrating I did with my prep, but apparently you need to like really, really prep if you want them to last more than like two days. Because on some people's videos, they were saying they like didn't really prep that well and it still lasted a week. So maybe it's just my nails that need like a lot of prep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these last three off really quick. These ones are kind of stuck on, although this one's lifting a little bit. This one is the only one that's like truly stuck on. And that was the full cover tip. And then this one is also kind of on there because I re-glued it like last night. So for me, I will probably have this be my new go-to base coat because I change sets so often. I don't want them to usually last, you know, two plus weeks. But I want to test this for you guys mainly for the longevity. So I know for me that I can use this and do some prep and get them to last a couple days or, you know, do better prep and get them to last longer. But I want to see how long they can actually last because I saw some comments say up to four weeks and I think that's crazy. And in some people's videos, it looked like they were like having to tear them off. Oh, this one's Actually, no, this one's lifting a teeny tiny bit. Okay, so I'm just going to put a drop of the remover on each one right now i'm gonna let it sit for a sec honestly to me oh and that just that just came right off oh that one did two let's see this one nice okay so now i have some free fingers so as a redo i'm going to come back tomorrow and we will put on a new set with the jello jello and do some really good prep and see if we can get those to last longer than like a day so i'll be back in the morning to do a different set um, with some better prep and then we can go from there and see how long these nails last it is also nice though that i now have like a little set of press-ons so this is going to be my official retry of the Jello Jello Peel Off Face Coat. I've done a lot of reading up and if you want it to really last, you'd need to really prep. So I will really prep my nails. I did see some people saying that they don't really prep and it lasts for them. So I know everyone's nails are different. So mine just might need that bit of extra help to get the product to cling on. Cause like I was saying, it would be like ideal for the nails to last one week. But for me, I don't wanna be etching my nails, my real nails every single time. So I will lightly etch them today, but nothing crazy definitely not with a sanding bit or anything like I know some people do I never use sanding bits on my natural nails because they already as you can tell probably wouldn't like that because I realized my nails just grow out of my hands thin they're not thin because I file them I mean partially but they grow out thin so I'm just going to clip a little from a couple nails all right now I'm going to just rough up my nails mainly near the cuticle Alrighty, now I'm going to wipe off with a lint-free wipe and some swipe. I'll even be extra thorough today. There we are. What I think I mainly missed the first time was primer. For some reason, primer just didn't seem important to me when putting this on, but you guys have already seen these nails. With these two nails here, I used the Jello Jello with a primer and I used these ones without and these ones feel pretty solid and I didn't do any like cuticle prep or any etching or anything like that I just did some dehydrator and then I did put a primer and then the base coat and this feels solid but on these two that I didn't I feel like I can feel that little bit of like give so I'm kind of thinking that primer might be the key for this so I'm going to use the Young Nails Protein Bond and hopefully that will give us super good adhesion. I've even seen some people do two coats of the primer, but I'm only gonna do one and just make sure it's a very thorough one. And then I think somewhere else where I may have gone a little wrong was I maybe put too thick of a coat on. There is a nail channel that I do watch sometimes and she uses this. And she says if you want them to last a really long time to just put a layer on like the center of your nail so that the product can, you know, like adhere kind of like all on the edges. 
So I am pretty much going to do a normal layer, except I'm not going to put that much up on the tip here. I'm gonna just like the lightest amount because I feel like that's where I can feel the lifting start coming from. But I feel like maybe just a thin layer will work a lot better and hopefully we'll still be able to remove them easily though. That's the only thing that I am concerned about. So there we are, pretty thin coat. So now I'm going to cure it all. Now we should be ready to go. I will not be retrying all of the different mediums. I am just going to do a full cover tips today. And I'm going to use just these regular long coffin from Kira Sky. I figure it's a good length to have on for a long time if these last. And then I'm just going to do some customizing to my nail for these really quick. And then just prepping the inside. And to adhere these, I'm using some Apray gel. I'm going to really try not to go overboard with how much I need today. Don't want a bunch of spillage in the back because that will bug me. Okay, so for this set, I'm not gonna get too crazy since we already did a whole set. So I'm gonna try to do a similar design to this one by Seesaw Plus One. I think it's a super pretty design and I feel like I've had a little bit of a struggle with the cat's eye gel and I wanna try to get a little bit better at that. So I figured why not try today? So for my more natural color, I'm gonna use this base. It's a Korean nail gel. This is definitely more of a nudish color. Definitely not something I've done almost ever. So even though these are gonna be more of like a natural looking set for me, I feel like it's really different for me. And I'm gonna do two layers of this. Now I'm just wiping all of these because that gel is a base gel and it is a little bit thick. So I'm just going to shape up the edges a little bit because I don't like them all, you know, like bulbous. Just a little on the sides. I actually have a whole little arsenal of tools today, AKA magnets. For funsies, I have this heart one. I have a regular one that you usually get. I have a tiny, tiny little magnet that I just had. And then I have a pretty strong big one because I feel like for some reason, whenever I use the cat's eye gel, I can never get it to do what I want. So maybe I need a stronger magnet. Maybe I'm just not good at it. I don't know. For the cat's eye gel, I'm gonna be using this Galaxy Space Kitty one in Ultra Moon Cat's Eye. This one actually does look similar in color to the one that they are using. Here's what it looks like. With cat's eye gels, you wanna make sure you are shaking them up really, really, really well or turning them upside down for a few minutes before you use them because all of those little magnetic pieces will settle at the bottom. All right, let's give this a go. Okay, I feel like that's a good amount of gel and I'm going to ombre it down a bit. No, nope. barely, maybe. All right. I think I have as good of an ombre as I'm gonna get. I've watched their video like five times in preparation for what to do with the magnet. They do like three little swoops and that's it. So they go like one, two, and then they just, no? Okay, that didn't do anything. I'll see that one. Oh wait, maybe I need to like do one, two. Then maybe I need to do it with this one. Hmm. Okay, see, it's like doing a little bit there, but I don't feel like it's strong enough. Where'd that big magnet go? Okay, let's see if this does anything. Okay, I kind of did it, but I did the opposite of what we want. So maybe I can do it like, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, I kind of did it. I had to go in this way though, and then lift up directly. You see, I did it. Except this is the opposite way of what I wanted, right? About that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think we're I'm kind of getting the hang of it. Okay, so I feel like I'm getting the hang of it, but I feel like that magnet may be a little too big. So I'm gonna try this like itty bitty teeny tiny one and see what it does. Do you even do anything? It did. Oh my gosh. I think it's the opposite way from theirs, but I did it. Wow, okay, I can't believe I'm actually figuring it out. I've been playing with this exact nail for like 14 minutes. I feel like I probably should redo it at this point because I think I've accidentally touched the gel with the magnet like five times. And I feel like at some point it's probably also gonna stop sliding so well. So I'm gonna just put a little bit more on. All right, not gonna mess this one up, okay? Ready? All right, I know how to do it now, I think. All 
All right, I'm actually curing this one. Look at it, it's beautiful. All right, only four more to go. <laughs> well, now I have it pretty much down, I think. I don't think it'll take me like 20 minutes to nail now. Fan brush for the blending, for sure. For the last one, I kind of want to try this heart. I have tried it before, but I don't really remember it being super great. I'm going to try just putting my finger maybe over it and painting it on like that. Like, I'm not sure if that'll do anything. I don't know how big this magnet heart is. I don't quite remember, but let's see if it does anything. Not quite. All right, so it's not strong enough to do that. Let's see. Why isn't it doing anything? Okay, wait, it's doing a little bit. I want to take this off so I can actually see what's going on because I think it's not center. I don't feel like I really like it that much. I don't know why it's off center. I wish I could know where it was doing that. So of course, once I start, I kind of can't stop. So now I'm putting this hollow cat's eye over everything and kind of doing the same shape that I did with the first layer, but this is just gonna give it some extra pizzazz but I'm going to top coat it after this, I swear. But I gotta be done for today. <laughs> Finally, I am just top coating everything. I will of course show you guys these in the sun. I'm sure they will be a lot prettier. But other than that, I will just be updating you guys with my wear test on these. Or if they don't last, even with all of that prep, we will just have to see, but I will update you guys. And do let me know what you guys think of these nails. They're pretty simple for what I would normally do, but I really like them. All right, we are still going good. Day three, they feel pretty strong still. No lifting, and I feel like the hollow looks so cute. Okay, so we are at the very end of day six, and all was going good except now this nail is holding on by a thread, like literally. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Where to go? All right. These three seem pretty good for the most part, but then this one I can tell is lifting a bit. You can see right there that little bit on the corner. I felt like this week was pretty good until this one like suddenly just started falling off. Other than that, they've been on pretty good. So I'm going to glue this one on really quick. And, and I wanted to like further elaborate because on my finger, I don't know if you guys can see, but the gel is actually still on there. The gel just detached from the tip. So that means that the base gel, the Jello Jello, is still on my nail. It has lifted a bit in that little corner right there. But other than that, it's still on there. So I'm going to just glue this back on. Sorry, I look so greasy. I wasn't exactly planning on doing an update tonight. All right, so we're at the end of day eight and womp. It looks like this one is peeling from my nail and also from the tip. So the tip peeled off from the base coat and the base coat kind of peeled off from my nail, like half and half. Sorry, don't mind that. I just had spicy noodles. <laughs> I would say I was pretty hard on my nails today though because I was working on my car a little bit, so that could have contributed. Okay, so bad news. The file that my last day update on is corrupted and after $100, like six hours, there's no way I'm getting it back. So I'm just gonna tell you here, I didn't re-glue the thumb and another one fell off on day nine the next day and I decided to just take them all off on that day since two had already fallen off. But the three that were still on were still pretty stuck on there. 
So final thoughts on the Jello Jello. I love this stuff. You guys are gonna be seeing me use it a ton, especially if you are any sort of like nail content creator or someone who just really loves doing their nails as a hobby and you like to redo your sets often. I definitely think it is a pretty good product to have. It will definitely make my life a lot easier and hopefully help me get the health of my nails a little bit better by not having to soak off my nails all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Please make sure to give this video a like. I would appreciate it a ton, especially if you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching again, and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.